Give me your first impressions of the track. What do you think of the venue itself? Awesome. That's all I can say. I mean, the track is awesome. It's it's a world class facility. Um, it's it's our new tool to, to perform our performance tool. Um, yeah, it's 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 a class one uh, class one velodrome. They don't make them any better than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I mean, I haven't ridden on it. I can't wait to get on it. But uh, the athletes that I've talked to are, are really just really enthusiastic about about how the track rides. Um, it's you know, obviously brand spanking new, so it's going to set a bit more and, and, and get a better feel. But but uh, the riders really like it so far, um, and the facility itself as well. I mean, it's a beautiful facility. It's got. I mean, we're, we're going to start working. You know, have have our coaches based out of here. Uh, they have their offices. They'll be here on the daily. It's going to really, you know, up, up our, our daily training environment with our athletes, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, it's going to bring more athletes, you know, more interest to, to track from, you know, from a ritual standpoint, from a club standpoint, and we'll be pumping out more track athletes that eventually, uh, especially on the endurance side of things, will eventually become really good road riders. We've seen that in Australia, we've seen that in New Zealand and, and, and Great Britain, where, where a lot of track endurance riders actually convert really well into the road scene after a few years of being on the track. And, at the international level, and the the actually, you know, trade teams in, in uh, you know not big big road trade teams actually see a lot of interest in, in track endurance riders because they know that these guys are when they come out of the track program they're polished and they're ready to go and they got really good work ethics and and you know just know how to ride and, and tech, technically tactically they're they're really polished so so we're, our hope is is the end game is to. You know, to continue getting getting performances on the track, Olympic medals, track, uh, you know, World Cup, World, uh, World Championship, World Cup medals uh, on the track. But ultimately, ultimately, uh, we want to, our, our track endurance riders to convert, transition to the road, and be really strong road riders, so we can actually, you know, uh, you know, flaunt having some really good road performances later on down the road. Um, no pun intended, but that's that's the intent as well. Okay. Um, other than the weather, have there been any surprises this weekend? <laughs> yes, the weather's been a surprise. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, uh, from a performance standpoint, it's we know we know because we've had a lot of the riders coming from different provinces. Our coaches know who they are. Um, for the most part, it's just confirming, uh, in some cases, confirming that little spark that we the coaches would have seen in the training camp, and seeing okay, well, yeah, let's you know, a couple of athletes have been picked up. From Said, you know what? Yeah, we have to we have to start working a bit more closely with with some of the athletes and the coaches that, that come with those athletes. So, um, so that's that's what we see. Hopefully, through time, through uh, hosting more events like this, and training camps, and so so on and so forth, we'll be able to you know more athletes will be coming into the fold. And, and what the intent really is to build a massive you know a bigger pool of athletes and more resilient and more robust uh, pool of athletes that, that we can draw from for performances. And, and those athletes will come out, as I said before, come out of that. With, with performances on the track, but uh, you know, when we're talking about track endurance, they go back, they go back and hit the road, uh, road scene, and, and perform there. And on the sprint side of things, um, we have a few good athletes. I mean, on the sprint, we transitioned one one rider that we transitioned from bobsled, Kate O'Brien, is, is doing really well. She's she's you know going up the rungs fairly well, progressing well, and um, you know hopefully you know we'll we'll be able to attract more riders from uh, different more athletes from different sports on the sprint side. The conversion to, from other sports, explosive uh, type sports, to, to sprints, I think, is a lot is, is easy, a lot easier than endurance. Right. So, so we're hoping that athletes, like whether it be hockey players, whether it be uh, uh, you know rugby players or or bobsledders or, sp or skaters, or speed, speed skaters, yeah. um, coming from those those type of backgrounds, to transition easily. Nothing's easy, but easily uh, to a certain degree into into sprint cycling, and then, you know we need that depth. We're, we're looking for for talent, and uh, we know it's out there. We just need to see more of it and, and continue developing that, so we can, you know we can build some champions. Out. So, how long do you think it will be before someone sets a national record on this track? <laughs> well, tip, right, I mean national records are set anyway through on this track. They're all set every day and every time we have a championship, right? But. Uh, um, We'll see. I mean, I think from um, uh, from Milton Challenge next weekend, uh, we'll be putting in uh, you know on the women's team pursuit squad. Um, from women's team pursuit squad, we'll have two squads, so a, a B squad. Uh, so I would I would anticipate uh, you know getting to a good national record here. Uh, you know, on that from that standpoint, possibly from the men's team pursuit squad as well. So I think next week 
as we, we take all the, the riders the, the riders that are on the national team, we're going to bring them in that have been competing as, as provincial on their provincial teams. And we roll them up into the national team next weekend. We should see some good national uh, national records. Uh, hopefully, some national records go down. Uh, you know, for the most part, love their, our athletes are are uh, getting ready for the next World Cup, the uh, yeah. World Cup number three in Cali. Um, so some of them are coming off of a really hard endurance block on the road. So, so we'll see if they had time to recover. Because really the specific work that they'll do is, is going to happen right after the, uh, the Milton Challenge leading up to Cali. So, but, you know, to your question, I would say we should be seeing a couple of uh, national records on the, uh, you know, being broken on this track maybe next weekend. Awesome. Good way to end it. Thanks.